Viewer discretion is advised. is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. When I went to college, I was pre-med. My plan was to be a doctor, and it just didn't feel right to me. So I started going on some ride-alongs with some police departments down there. Next thing I know, I was applying, and I've been a police officer ever since, and I know this is where I, where I need to be. We're going to go contact a guy standing on the corner over here. He's wearing blue in a uh, known gang area. It's kind of suspicious. All right, he sees us. There he goes. There he goes. Stop! Get on the ground! Gang 7-5, we're going to be in uh, for pursuit. There you go. It's going to be sad. Why don't you stop, dude? Stop! Stop! Why are you going hand in your pocket? Stop. Bring your other hand back. Stop resisting my hold. All right. Bring your other hand back. He was going into his pocket, too. Bring your hand slowly out. Slowly. Gang 7-5, you can uh, code for the beeper. He's handcuffed. It'll be, you want to send us one more unit? Flip over, guy. What are you reaching for? What are you running for? I was good. Man to man, why'd you run? Did he drop anything? You warrant? No. Immediately went in his pocket. You got drugs on you? Yeah. What do you got? Like two sacks. Huh? I smoke. You got meth? Yeah. Sit up. <sighs> Stay right there. Hold it aside. Start looking around. Did he toss it? I think he might have. He said he had meth. He's got a ton of money. I don't find it yet. Stand up. Stand up. Spread your legs apart. So you do have the right to remain silent. Anything you say may be used against you in court. You have the right to an attorney, have one present while you're being questioned. If you can't afford one, one will be appointed for you. You understand those rights? Oh, here we go. How much you got here? The 30 sack. Huh? The 30 sack, I just bought it. 30 pack? 30 bucks? Yeah. Hey, Daryl, I got it. You're wearing a LaDamian Tomlinson jersey. I expect you to be a little bit faster. Well, he's old. We gotta get back to working out, right? LT's old. All right, let's go have a seat. Let's take a little break. Is he on probation? No, it's good. You on probation? Yeah. Yeah. When we chased him, he was reaching in the waistband Generally, it's uh, either narcotics or a weapon. And in this particular case, he was, he was trying to discard uh, some narcotics in his waistband. And when we located it, there was two packages uh, which resemble uh, methamphetamines. So what, what are we going to do is I'm going to test this. And if it turns blue, then it's positive for methamphetamines. And if it doesn't turn any color, then it's negative for methamphetamines. There's a lot of bunk out here. And a lot of cut. So that's why we have to test it. We just can't base it on a, a visual inspection. And it's positive because it turned blue. So this would be positive for uh, methamphetamines. And you're looking at a, probably uh, two grams, uh, which is a felony. And we'll book this into evidence. So we're going to book him for uh, possession, obstruction, and then uh, parole violation. Did you smoke earlier today? Look at me. Can you look at me? And what does it do to you? Can you turn like this so you can see me? It makes you go stupid? What does that mean? When you do some stupid Like what? Like running from the guys. Like running from us? Yeah, because I had it. Why. You had the drugs, so yeah. that's why you ran. Yeah. But. Is that because you smoked earlier that that makes you make dumb decisions? Yeah, make dumb decisions. I should have stopped. 
Have you made any other dumb decisions today? No? Just using drugs every day, that's that's your biggest decision, right? I started right? doing like three, four days ago, sir. That's the first time you ever used crystal was three to four days ago? I quit for three years, right? And I don't know why, I, I, I regret. How did you get back on it? I hang around with my homies. Your homies? Yeah. They, because they start using, so it yeah. just, it's, it's kind of cool to use it. It's attempted, you know what I mean? So it's attempted, it, yeah. So you've been good, you had willpower for a long yeah. time, but then all of a sudden you slipped up one yeah, night. Yeah, I just flipped. What made you slip up that night? I hang with my homie and, uh, I don't know, I was around it, you know what I mean? You finally just said, I'm, 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 I'm gonna do this thing. I just got sick of it, because everybody been, you know what I mean, smoking. I was around it, I said, I'm finna hit, I'm finna hit this too. And you smoke it? Yeah. And once you did that, which was two or three days ago, yeah. how many times have you used since? Uh, two or three times. Let me ask you this. Are you are you mad at yourself for, for slipping up? You feel guilty? I, I regret, yep. Who'd you let down? Myself. What about your family? My family, too. Yeah. Well, you know, here's day one right now, okay? Starting right now. We'll see how far you can go. All right. My partner and I will check in with you. Right. Okay, we'll come by and we'll see. Right. See if you're saying good to your word and remind you that even your homie shouldn't be able to make you slip up, okay? All right. All right, have a seat. I'm going to grab those laces from you. What are you feeling right now? Just for regretting it? I don't think any less of you, okay? I got to do my job. You know, you made a mistake, and hopefully they can do something for you. No more, though. So here's the deal. We're going to take you down for possession of methamphetamine, okay, and run it from the police. Okay. All right, put your feet inside. Before I became a police officer, I was actually planning on becoming a Catholic priest. So I uh, joined uh, the Dominican order. Uh, I was a Dominican friar. I lived in a monastery down in California for about four years and studied philosophy and theology and uh, chanted uh, in Latin every day. It was actually a, a great experience. Six, six, five, eight, six, six, eight, five, and ten. Twenty two and nine. We got a car that's driving pretty reckless around the area and we're stopping uh, right here. Five two five traffic. Thank you, Rosa Parks and Knowles. Hi, can you stop the car, please? Do you know why I stopped you? Yeah, I do. I was spinning my tires over the corner. Yeah? I agree. And what's what's the deal? Just got a new car or something? You want to test it out? I was just showing my friend. Showing the power? Yeah. Okay, fair enough. I'm not, I'm not going to lie. I used to own a 1974 Grand Torino, so I, I know where you're coming from. Yeah. 74, you got a 74 Grand Torino? It's a Starsky and Hutch oh, wow, car. that's awesome, dude. Yep. I got a 72, and this is a 72. All right. Well, do you have a license? I do have a license. All right. Would you like to see it? I'd love to, yeah. That's my license. All right. Okay, sit tight, and I'll be right back, okay? Thanks, sir. Yep. He was pretty straightforward about why he was spinning his tires and whatnot. And there's no signs of impairment from him. Yeah, it looks like he's valid and he's uh, been honest with me. I'm going to cut him a break and uh, hopefully it'll change his behavior and he won't need to show off his, uh, his hot rod anymore. All right, Steve, I appreciate you being honest with me and uh, Lights in my eyes. Oh, yeah, I can't yeah. see the road, right. bro. You're not. You, all you need to see is me. You don't need to see the road. You're not driving right now. No, but the light is like in my both my mirrors. Okay, just relax. I am relaxing, but I'm just. I'm telling you right now that I can't see the road. I know, but I'm telling you, you don't need to see the road. I'm just talking to you. So. So how am I supposed all to right. drive? When, when this traffic stop is done, you'll be able to drive away. Okay, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. As I was saying, I appreciate you being honest with me. You right would be honest with you because that's what happens when you pull me over, right? Right. Yeah, but you'd be surprised how many people are not honest with me. So, well, anyway. I, uh, I told you. I yeah. That's my girlfriend called me. Thank you. Okay.
I spun my tires because my homeboy right here, mm -hmm. he never he never been in a 74 Ford Maverick. Mm -hmm. Just, you know, we were just goofing. I turned off my car for you. Sorry to offend you. I spun my tires for him. Yeah. Have you had anything to drink tonight? I had a couple drinks. A couple drinks? I had a couple like two, four, eight? I think I had three drinks. Three drinks? Three drinks. And when was that? Two hours ago. I won't spin my tires anymore, I yeah. promise. <laughs> I know. Actually, my suggestion is that you uh, take a ride at this next block, park it, and then walk home. Walk home? Yeah. Oh, okay. Do what he says. Because... You want to walk home, that's fine yeah. with me. If, that, if that's what needs to be done, then we'll do it. Yeah, because the other route is to invest... The I gave you my whole... Uh, no, you, you have that. You just gave me those things. No, I did not. No, I gave you my whole wallet. No, you didn't. That's... No, I had to say that's... Yeah? Yeah. Okay. I'll get out of my car and tell you that's You're not going to get out of your car until I tell you to. Well, officer, I'm telling you, I gave you my whole thing that I told you. Won't you find it then? Here. Partner, what's between your legs? On the seat. Oh. Thank you. I'm not shaking your hand. Okay. What you're going to do is you get out of your car. You proved me you're wrong. Gonna... You proved me wrong. I know. You proved me wrong. I put it in my lap, and I you proved me wrong. I thought okay. I gave I thought I gave it to you. I thought I gave it okay. to you. I'm sorry. I'll get out of my car. No, you're gonna stay there for a second. I I'm sorry, officer. Right. Five two five. Is there a traffic unit available? I'm sorry. I thought I did. All right. We'll sit tight, okay? I don't want you getting out of the car yet. You guys just hang tight, and we'll be back with you in a little bit, okay? All right. All right. I called for a traffic unit to come and help me evaluate him under the suspicion of driving under the influence of alcohol. This first uh, field sobriety test is walk and turn test. Basically, he's supposed to be taking nine steps heel to toe uh, down the line, keeping his balance. A sober person can do this very easily, but he's having a lot of problems. I'm a little drunk. One six. I'm right. drunk. He admitted to drinking. Seven. Uh, he said he had about three drinks in the last hour. Eight. Nine. Ten. A little drunk. I'm Go ahead drunk. and put your hands behind your back. Okay. So you're placing you under arrest for driving under the influence of intoxicants, okay? Yeah, yeah, right. You know, when I first told you, I was almost willing to give you the chance to, to walk away. Officer, I told you I was willing to walk away. But you started to get a little mouthy with me. No, I didn't. And you kind of talked yourself into this. I okay. told I told I thought I gave you my license. I understand, but the more you talked, the more I knew you were intoxicated. And I told you I was been drinking. I know. All right, come with me. You know, I really appreciate it if I get some water. I had three shots at the bar, and I had three drinks. That's rough stuff, man. That's what I drink. All right. So I'm going to jail. I'm like dehydrated. And why? Uh, why did you think it was okay to drive tonight if you drank that much? Because I was 16 blocks from home. I've done it many times before. You know, people. There's a lot of people that get killed from people with that with that kind of idea. Well, you know, many times I usually carry water, and uh, I need some water right now. Well, that wouldn't help the fact that you're a drunk driver. Uh, yeah, it would if I'm not dehydrated. I need some water. Okay. He's going to be charged with uh, DUI and uh, probably charge him with reckless driving as well. Seeing how drunk he was, I'm really glad we pulled him over and got him off the road. I've been an officer for about six years. Uh, I grew up in the area. Uh, SAC PD is the agency that I wanted to work for. And there, there's a lot, of, a lot of opportunity at this department. One of my goals at this department is to work on the SWAT team. So they're supposed to post a position for that pretty soon, so I've been training for that. We're going to this lady's house. She called the police department last night. It looks like she believes her neighbor had stolen her marijuana plants that she's growing in her backyard. Uh, the police department already went out there and maybe trying to resolve it. And now she's calling again, saying that she sees her marijuana plants in the neighbor's backyard. So we'll talk to her and uh, see what the deal is with these marijuana plants. Hi. Uh, 
you want to pay last night, are you? No. You want to give me a rundown of what happened last night? Yeah, and last then... night I got two uh, marijuana plants taken out of the back of my yard. OK. And it was my neighbors right behind me. Did you see him do it? Or yeah. what, what happened last night when the police were here? Uh, like you initially made a report of someone yeah, stole your marijuana yeah, plants? Yeah, and I asked him if they would go in there because we knew the plants were in there. And he said he couldn't go in there because there was, uh, they could go by just what I said. They needed a warrant. OK. So. And then what, what has changed from last night's situation to right now? The marijuana plants right there in the back of his yard. You just has, are they in pots or are they? It's in pots. You come in my house. Uh, I have it in pots. Yeah, let's look at it. We'll look at it. You know what, officer? I was just going to tell him. You do have a prescription for this to grow it? Yeah. You know do you what? have it? Yes. Okay. You know, and I don't, you, this guy, if he took him, just give it back. I what? don't even want to press charges. Just. All right. You know what? I didn't ever think this was going to happen. What? You know, this is the first time that I need marijuana. This is the first I, time I've ever. I got to be honest, this is the first time anyone's. I've ever gone out to anyone's house that's called the police for their marijuana plants being stolen. Okay. I had them right here. What the guy did was he jumped over the fence right there. Okay. See, there was two of them. There was four of them, actually. Yeah. So these are your plants? Yeah. It's illegal. I got my, my license. Jumped that fence from there, and he took them over there. I asked my neighbor if I could go through his backyard. And look into and the see, fence? Yeah. But you can't see it from here? No, yeah, I can't see it from here because his yard down. Are they in the same tubs? They're red tubs. They're just like that, but they're red. They're two red tubs. And you think he took them? I see them. Did you tell the officers last night yes. that? Yes, yes. Could you positively identify it as yes. being your plant? Yes, because it's this kind of plant. It's this kind of plant. Marijuana see, there, there's or a difference. See, a there, hybrid? You can see and uh, I, I put the, the hose on the sides of them. You know, I don't want no problems. Okay. If want, he doesn't want to give up the plant, then it's going to be really difficult what? for us to, to it, prove. It, it, I think, I'm not sure, but it looks like they already sh sh I couldn't tell because it's covered with... Okay, well, with we'll head over there. Okay. Just hang out here if you want, okay. okay? So right now we're walking over to the house. The comp is claiming that this person has her marijuana plants in his backyard now. So we'll attempt to make contact with him and see what his side of the story is. Hello, police department. Police department. Oh, good. Hey, what's up, man? You're, sounds like we were out here last night. Yeah. Your neighbor, can I make sure you don't have some? Uh, your, your neighbor's calling, say, claiming that she watched you jump a fence, take her plant. Yep. Did you take her plant? Did she owe you money? Do you owe her money? I didn't take her, I didn't take her plants at all. Okay. I didn't take her plants. We already came out here. You talked to me about it already, and I didn't take her plants. And you don't have any marijuana plants at all or from hers? I don't have anything from hers. Okay. How many plants do you have of your own? I don't have any plants. So you have no marijuana plants at all? I had no plants. I don't. I had no plants at all. Okay. There's nothing in your house. No plants in the tub, growing six feet tall. Yeah. Is there anything in your backyard? Not that I know. I haven't been. No. All I do is my backyard. I'm in my room right here. Oh, you stay in the garage? Yeah. If I walk back that way, would I find a marijuana plant? Uh, I'd be my guest. I was gonna say, be my guest. Okay. And you're cool with us going back? Just look real quick. Uh, okay. All right. She doesn't. He, here's the thing. She's claiming that you took her plant, and I'm just trying to resolve it. If you have it, give it back. If not. We'll be on our way. She just she keeps calling the police department, saying that she wants her marijuana plants back. So you're using us as leverage. So I don't know if you guys have some type of ongoing problems with I've her. Been, my grandma's been in this house for over 50 years. I've been here over 30 years, and she's talking about I took her more marijuana. Plant. What do I look like going over? Go over you're a big dude. I don't know if I think you would crush the fence. I, I was like I told her the same thing I told him yesterday. I do not go over fences. I go to fences. <laughs> All right, look, can we walk back just real quick. Call it good, and we'll be out of here. Yeah, we'll be All right. Oh, All right, you want to lead us or what? Just to kind of just do a quick. Oh, yeah. Here's the thing, man. If those are her plants, if someone put them in your backyard, yeah, whatever, that. if you want to just pass them over the fence and we'll call it good, no report. Hey, okay, I do that. I do that myself, but man, these are not mine. Okay. <laughs> well, are you good if she comes and grabs them and we'll call it good? Yeah, I mean, whatever. I don't care, let's say. But then she looked like looking at me like I did take them. Well, she doesn't. She wants her plants back. That's it. She doesn't want anyone to go to jail. She doesn't want to make a report. She doesn't want to give us her name. Nothing. She wants her plants back. Call it good. Well, Clearly, they're her tubs. Hey, I don't think. They're both going to come back. They've agreed not to start any problems. They're really appreciative. I'm just going to point them in the direction. If you want to head this way, they're just going to grab their stuff and be on their way, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, just grab your stuff. You know, just, you know, I... Respect your yard, respect my yard, and we're neighbors. Man, we gotta been, live. Yes, we together. gotta live. But the thing, man, you said you see me, and I don't, I don't but, go in your yard, though, ma'am. You I know, don't you, you and that other guy went in my yard. That guy oh. handed those mm. drugs. To this you. isn't the time. It's okay. It's so. done. It's over. Okay. You know, it's oh. done. Facilitate the exchanges. Yeah. 
It looks like one is there and the empty yeah. tub is over there if you want to just grab them. Are these are your tubs? Yeah. Okay. Do you want to? I think he's going to have to put that one on there, too. Somehow they ended up in your backyard. We appreciate you being nice enough letting us come back here and yeah, look. I, mean, I had no problem with I mean, I, and that, but that, that was a shock. I'm like, wow. You look shocked. You look shocked to me. And I wonder, I'm like, uh, there we hey, go. Do I, can I just pull that one out there for him to help him out? Absolutely. If you want to, if it makes it quicker and Man. we're on our way. Uh, have a good night. Five years ago, you know, we would have come out and we'd probably taken her to jail for something like this. Uh, it's kind of odd now that we're facilitating her getting her plants back. So. Yeah. yeah Times have changed. Definitely, they have. 132 in Bush, I've got him at gunpoint. Okay, gunpoint, 132 in Bush, covers code 3. Thanks, Ted. Good, 25, 14, 10, transmit on tech 2. 1047, 1047, can send it on 4360. Tuesday and Wednesday, the American Idol Top 20 take the stage and sing for your votes. 